Hi guys, Justin here. If you've ever bought a sleeping pad before, you've probably come across the term R-value. I've spent hundreds of nights on different sleeping pads with different R-values, and for this video, chat with some industry insiders to get you the scoop on what that R-value number means and why it's important. So R-value is a measure of thermal resistance, and that R stands for resistance which in plain language means it measures how much an object or insulation prevents heat from going through it from one place to another. Our value is a really common term. It's used for home insulation, windows, and anywhere there's really engineered insulation at play. Bringing this to sleeping pads, our value measures how well a sleeping pad prevents the ground from sucking the heat out of your body. The higher the R value, the better the insulating properties of the sleeping pad, and the better it is at keeping you essentially warm while you're sleeping on it. There are two ways that most sleeping pads insulate. The first one being a tinfoil-like material that reflects heat back up to you, and that's what gives NeroWare X-Lite sleeping pads their crinkly sound. And the second one being some sort of fill material like down or polyester that traps the heat and prevents more heat loss from reaching the ground. This climate sleeping pad that I have here uses a polyester fill. Whereas, like I mentioned, the NeoWare X lights have that tinfoil like crinkly material, reflective material, and this Etherlite XT by C to Summit uses both. It has a polyester fill as well as reflective material inside of it. Neither one's necessarily better than the other, and like I mentioned with the C to Summit, a lot of companies will use both types of insulation within their sleeping pads. So, once a company has designed their sleeping pad, figured out whether they're putting tinfoil or down inside of it, the next question is how do they measure our value? And that's one of the problems with the sleeping pad industry currently is that there's no standard way to measure our value. Some companies use one way, other companies use, use another way. Some companies don't even present our value measurements for their sleeping pads like Nemo and Big Agnes, they use a temperature rating. But that's all about to change. In 2020, sleeping pad manufacturers are going to be publishing our values. Pretty much everyone is. It's a big push by the two big retailers in Canada and US, REI and Mountain Equipment Co-op. So that's really exciting to see and it should make comparing sleeping pads much easier. I'm gonna be releasing a follow-up video to this one where I talk about what that R value change means and how they're gonna be testing R value in the future. So subscribe to the channel if that's something that you're interested in hearing about down the road. So while R value is a great tool for determining how warm your sleeping pad might keep you, there are a couple things I think you should keep in mind when looking at R value ratings. First up is the fact that if you change the properties of the insulation, it's gonna change the R value. How that works in regards to sleeping pads is a lot of the time people will only inflate their sleeping pads up to 80%. That's personally how much I like having my sleeping pad inflated to keep um, it a bit more comfortable, but that changes the R value properties and actually makes it a little bit less warm. So that's something to keep in mind if you're finding that your sleeping pad is quite a bit cooler than you thought it would be, then maybe try really inflating it. The second thing and is a neat little tip is that R value does stack. So if you have two sleeping pads that have an R value of two and stack them on top of each other, you're gonna have an R value of four and that's gonna be the thermal resistance between you and the ground, four. And it's gonna keep you much warmer throughout the night. The way I use that is when I'm winter camping or camping under really cold conditions, I will take a closed cell foam pad like this Nemo switchback here, and I will stack an inflatable pad like this Sea to Summit insulated ultralight pad. So why is our value important? I don't know about you, but I like to be comfortable while I'm out in the backcountry. If you've seen my videos, you know that I prioritize comfort over a lot of things. I like to be warm, I like to be comfortable, and that definitely applies to when I'm sleeping. Our value is a tool that you can use to make sure that you're gonna be warm and plan appropriately for your trips. For me, if I'm going on a trip, I know that a 3.5 R value pad under the current system is probably just gonna keep me warm down to zero degrees Celsius or freezing, anything below freezing, I'm gonna probably have to go above 3.5 R value. The fact that it also allows consumers to easily compare sleeping pads is really good, especially when we're under the new standardized system. We're gonna be able to look at a Thermarest pad, at a Sea to Summit pad, at an XPED pad, a Nemo pad, and compare equally across all the pads and determine how warm each one is gonna be and what the best fit might be for you. 
So as you can see, R value is a really important property when you're looking at sleeping pads and something to, important to consider. If you have any questions about R value or choosing sleeping pads, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.